Hindi lang ako yung disiplina na kasi meron tao. Hinakailangan na makuha mismo ng tao yung disiplina. Kaya nga kung minsan ang sabi na iba, paano po yung yung pamamalo sa mga bata? Well, kanya-kanya kong pamamaraan ng disiplina. No? Pero yung tungkol yung sa pamamalo, nakita po natin yung mga kasing itad ko no? ay naka sigurado po malaking bahagi ng mga kasing itad ko ay nakaranas na mapalo. Pero nung una, hindi lang basta-basta na mamalo. Kapag papaluin ka, padadapain ka. Merong lugar mismo na padadapain ka. At hindi ka papaluin kahit sa ang bahagi ng katawan mo. Doon lamang sa pigi. Bakit? Kasi doon yung mataba. Yun yung hindi masyadong lalatay. Hindi yung basta papaluin ka kahit na saan. Kasi bakit? ay maglalasa yun eh. Yun doon sa pigi, ah, maraming taba yun. Tapalbog lang ng konti yung pamalo doon. Pero maliwanag ko, kahit na po yung batas natin, sabi nga natin ngayon, ay alin, ang pinagpapawal ay pagkaabuso. Ano mang uri ng disiplina, ang pinagpapawal ay pagkaabuso. Pero, ano mang uri ng pagkilos, kinakailangan may disiplina. Kinakailangan may disiplina. Yung pong mga itinuturing natin na mga champions, ba't nila nakuha yun? Kasi talagang nag-fix sila sa kanilang disiplina. No? No? Kaya kinakailangan gagawin nila ito para makamit nila yung championship. So ganun din po. Ang mabuting pastol, kinakailangan marunong magdisiplina. Napakahalaga po ang pagdidisiplina. Huwag kayong matakot na magdisiplina. Huwag lang kayong mag-abuso sa pagkamit ng anumang uri ng pagdidisiplina. Pangatlo, isa po sa mga nakita po natin sa kap ng isang pastor ay yung tinatawag po oil of gladness. Yun po yung term na ginagamit po sa banal na kasulatan. Oil of gladness. Ang langis ng kagalakan. Sa banal na kasulatan, dalawa po kalimitan ang ginagamit ng langis. Una, yung pagkatalaga ng hari o ng mga pari. Anointing for leaders. Yung pangalawa, alin? Yun po yung tinatawag nating oil of gladness. Kung yung maalala, yung po sa good Samaritan, noong nakita po noong Samaritano, yung sugatan na nasa kalsada, anong ginawa niya? Binuhusan niya ng langis. Ano? So yung langis na alin? Paggamot. Paggamot ng mga sugat. Tayo po ngayon ay marami sa atin na mayroong may sugat. We are wounded people. Sabi na nung isa, kaya nagtanong sa akin, Father, bakit ba may mga taong wala nang ginawa kundi magmura. No? Sabi ko, pagpasensyahan ka, bakit? Wounded yun eh. No? Maraming sugat yan. At alam po natin, yung primary instinct ng tao, kapag ikaw yung sugatan ay alin? Ah, kapag ka nasugatan, gusto mo rin makasugat. No? Gusto mo rin makasugat. Pero kaya kinakailangan ano, Pinakailangan din, mahilom natin ang mga sugat. Kasi hindi mo tunay na mapangalagaan at hindi mo mapastulag ang iyong mga tupa. 
kung may mga sugat. Alam po naman natin yung mga tupa ay nagkakaroon ng sugat. Maaari po sa tatlong dahilan. No? Una, gawa ng naglalamir na siya mag-isa. No? Siya ay naligaw na landas. No? Umalis na siya doon sa food. So, kaya siya ay nagkaroon ng sugat. Maring gawang sinalakay sila ng, ng mga asong bubat, ng mga lobo, at kaya siya nagkaroon ng sugat. O gawang maaring pagkakamali mismo ng tupa, ah, sorry, pagkakamali mismo ng pastol, na padala sila sa maling daanan na naging sanghi ng pagkasugat ng kanyang mga tupa. Pero ang kinakailangan natin na hilingin, ang kinakailangan natin lalong-lalong lalo, kapag ikaw isang pastol, ikaw ay namuhuno, marunong kang maghilong ng mga sugat. Marami tayong sugatan. Physically, spiritually, psychologically, financially, morally, socially, politically, Maraming mga sugat. Kaya po ang mga tao ngayon, galit. Bakit? Mga sugatan. Hinakailangan natin ng mga pastol na marunong gumamot ng mga sugat. Alam niyo kahit na ako sumiso sa ating parokya, nakita po natin, bakit may mga tao hindi na nagsisimba? Ano? Nagalit doon sa pari. Sugatan eh. So, bahagi po. At ito yung panyaya. No? So, una, yung staff, maging gabay. Yung pangalawa, yung rod. O yung pamalo, disiplina. Pangatlo, ay ang oil of gladness. Ang paghihilong ng mga sugat. Ang langis ng kagalingan. So bahagi yun na kung saan yung makita po. At makita po natin na si Jesus, ang siyang mabuting pastol, ay maliwanag na doon tayo lumapit sa kanya. Kasi bakit po? Katulad po na ipinahayag sa unang pagbasa. Sa sulat po, sorry, sa mga gawa ng mga apostol, sa unang pagbasa, ay nakita po natin na si Jesus ay ipinahayag ni San Pedro sa mga Israelita na naging gabay para alin ah, kaya tatlong libo ang binigyan kasi ginampayan sila sa tulong ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo na ipinahayag ni San Pedro yung disiplina ano sabi niya ang sino mang pumasok sa pintuan na yun magkakamit ng buhay na ganap at kasiyasiya. Rewards and punishment is a form of discipline. Pangatlo, yung langis ng kagalakan. Alam nyo, maganda po yung kalawang pagbasa. Kung napakinggan po natin yung kalawang pagbasa sa sulat, sa unang sulat ni San Pedro, sa mga, sa unang sulat ni San Pedro, pastoral letter niya. Alam niyo po, mayroon lamang tatlong sulat si San Pedro. The smallest book in the whole, New Testament. No? Pag-iisang page lang ako, kalimitan, o dalawa lang. No? Ay makita po natin, ayan yung balikan po natin, yung ipinahayag ni San Pedro, kasi napakaganda. Anong sabi ni San Pedro? Sabi niya po rito, ay sa kanyang sulat, sabi niyo pa ino. By His wounds, you have been healed. By His wounds, you have been healed. Sa pamagitan ng kanyang mga sugat, ginamot kayo ng Diyos. 
Magkakantong sa ating mga sa atin, yung prime at insect natin, kapag tayo ay sinugatan, gusto natin makasugat. Si Jesus, hindi. Siya ay sinugatan ng tao. Pero alin, sa pamagitan ng kanyang sugat, binigyan tayo ng kagalingan. Binigyan tayo ng kagalingan. Siya ay wounded healer. Kung misa nang sabi nga ng iba, Padre, hindi ko kayang maghilo ng sugat kasi ako rin ang sugatan. Hindi, kinakailangan natin lumapit kay Jesus. Naalala ko tuloy, no? sa Archdiocese of Manila. Very, yung simbahan ko, yung Archdiocese of Manila, may mga programa sila na talagang lumalapat ngayon doon sa mga natukhang, no? yung mga drug dependents. Meron silang pari na kasayin talaga doon. At yung pari na kasayin doon, bago pala siya naging pari, he was a drug dependent. No? Dati siyang gumagamit na ipinagbabawal na gamot. No? Nakulong din siya. No? Nagkatasan din siya ng mga polis. No? Kaya alam na alam niya yung pagkilos. Kaya aktibo, no? ang aktibo-aktibo po, ang Arts Diocese of Manila. Kasi, yung mismo namumuno sa programa na inilid, ah, nasugatan din siya. Pero hindi siya natiling nasugatan. By His wounds, we are saved. Sa pamagitan ng kanyang sugat, ay naging daan upang alin, maging katulad ng ating Panginoong si Kristo. Magbigay ng paghilong para po sa kapwa mananampalataya. Ang kaya rin po, sana rin po makita po natin no, yung ating pong debusyon tuwing Webes. Hindi lang po yung debusyon kay San Martin. No? Bahagi po yun no, na yung debusyon natin ay makatulad kay San Martin na nangalaga sa mga may sakit. Nangalangin para sa mga may sakit at sa mga nag-aalaga ng mga may sakit. Pero alam po yun, yung debusyon po natin tuwing Webes na ibinudulog natin, ipinapanalangin natin mga misitalin, ah, ipinapanalangin natin, Panginoon, no, hilumin mo ang mga sugatan, marami sa amin ang sugatan, hilumin mo sila, no, eh bakit natin dinadasal yun, at nagdadarasal natin na rin, magpadala ng mga, manghihilom ng sugat, bakit? It is part of our shepherding, Bahagi po yan ng pangalaga bilang isang mabuting pastol sa ating parokya. Hindi po pwedeng makalimutan natin na tayo ay kitinakitinatawagan din maghilom ng mga sugat. Kaya po yung isang, ito po kutusin po kung talagang itong ating ating dimusyon na ito ay kutusin po yung makiklik. Ay marami yung matutulungan. And kundusin po rin, it is our part of our role as shepherd of one another. Magpapakilala ito na talagang tayo ay mga nagpapastol sa bawat isa. Kasi tayo nagtarasal for the gift of healing and for the gift of healers. Ito po tatlong ito, ang iniwanan ko po sa inyo, ang tungkol bilang pagkabay, ang pamalo bilang disiplina, ang langis ng kagalakan bilang paghihilom ng mga sukat. Nawa po, magamit natin ang mga ito at makasunod tayo kay Jesus, ang mabuting pastor.
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived with the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to heaven, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. There he will come to judge the living and the dead. They believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to the Father that He may take care of us and raise up good shepherds to tend the people of God. Gracious Lord, hear your people. Gracious Lord, hear your people. that Pope Francis and other church leaders continue to be true shepherds leading Christ's flock to good pasture. We pray. Gracious Lord, hear your people. That our political and civil leaders enact laws that protect the dignity of the human person and the establishment of peace and a culture of life. We pray. Gracious Lord, hear your people. That young people, through the example of the Good Shepherd, take their place in society with a sense of responsibility, service, and respect for the dignity of each person. We pray. Gracious Lord, hear your people. That as we celebrate World Day of Prayer for Vocations, Young men and women may respond to God's call to the priesthood and consecrated life and give themselves totally to the cause of the kingdom, we pray. Gracious Lord, hear your people. That those who are sick and at the moment of death receive the comfort of the Lord so that they may not fear but hold on to the good shepherd who died to give life to all of us. We pray. Gracious Lord, hear your people. Those times, Father, grant us the desire to serve our brothers and sisters, so that when our chief shepherd appears, we shall receive the unfading crown of glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
please all rise. Pray, brethren, our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of His holy church. God, grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Live up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to be right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in the time above all to load you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, He never ceased to offer Himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before You. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in Your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Spirit to give light to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that we may become the body and blood of your Son, O Lord Jesus Christ. As his command, we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks. He said the blessing. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of the one of the saving passion of your son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice look we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his holy spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Martin de Porres, and with all the saints at his and intercession in your presence, we rely for our failing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church and heart with your servants, Francis, Benaventura, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion and merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you, as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, your glory and honors is yours forever and ever. That we may be good shepherds, like our Lord Jesus Christ. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity, in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
please all kneel for prayer against death penalty. Father, source and giver of life, we lift our hearts and vo voices to you. Help us to build a society that truly chooses life in all situations. Let our response be, Lord, heal our pain. For those experiencing pain and anguish because of violence and crime, response, for, pe pe for perpetrators and victims of atrocities who both struggle with anger and hatred, response, for our broken world, enchained by the desire for revenge, response, for our wounded society, misled by the illusion that one must take life in order to defend it, response, let us say together, help us to make peace. For our country tempted to accept violence, revenge, response. For the conviction to recognize the fall, the dignity of all the people, response. For the wisdom to see poverty, injustice, and the lack of educational and employment opportunities, a slightly cause of criminality, response. For guidance and compassion addressing the pain of both victims and perpetrators of wrongdoing, response. For the fortitude to find solutions that protect the dignity of all people and bring ab about true reconciliation, response. For the inspiration to renew society on the basis of love and restorative justice, response. Let us pray. Father of compassion, you let your rain fall on the just and the unjust. Give us heart like yours so that we may, lo may love as you love, even those who have caused us pain. There is in our land a cry for vengeance and a move to fulfill up death rows and kill offenders, but it is just disguised as a call for justice. Let true and lasting justice spring forth. Jesus, our brother, who saw you suffered execution in the hands of the powerful, but you did not let hatred overcome you. Help us to reach out to victims of violence, so that our enduring love may help heal their wounds. Holy Spirit, Lord and giver of life, to strengthen us in the struggle for justice. Help us to work tirelessly against state-sanctioned death and to renew society in truth, justice, love and respect, so that violence will cease and peace may prevail. Amen. O Mary, Mother of Life, protect the Filipino people from the forces of death. San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Alonsod, St. Paul de Pers Hermit, St. Martin de Porres, Patron of the Sick. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Sa bukas po, ang misa natin ay 7 o'clock ng gabi. No? So, ibuwag natin from 7 o'clock in the morning. Usually, o kapag Monday, ay misa natin ay 7 o'clock in the morning. No? But tomorrow, it will be 7 o'clock in the evening. No? At saka sa Sabado. Sa Sabado po, ang misa natin ay sa umaga, ay 6.30 na umaga. But this coming Saturday, sabi mo sana, ay huwag na sana tayo mag-misa. Kaya lang, ang gawa ng... Ako po kasi ay pinag-aaral ng obispo no? na sa Lasang. So... Uh, kinakailangan kong pumunta ro'n ng maaga 
Kung 7 o'clock yung 6.30 o 7 o'clock ng umaga yung misa natin dito ay uh, malilate naman ako doon. No? Kaya lang pala sa May 13 ay ay ka kapistahan ng mahal na Berhen ng Fatima. No? Uh, sa taon na ito ay 100 years. 100 years na noong mula noong nagpakita ang mahal na Birhen Maria sa tatlong baka ng Fatima na sina Lucia, Asinto at Maria. So, yung pong mga uh, Marian devotees ay gusto nilang magmisa kaya sabi ko, o sige, kaya lang 4.30 ng umaga. So, 4.30 ng umaga o tayo sa Sabado. So, para ako rin naman ay uh, makapasok ako uh, doon sa aking schooling. No? So, ito po ay bahagi rin po ng pagkilo. So, so Sabado, 4.30 ng umaga. This coming Saturday only. At bahagi din po ng ating pagtugon, no? kasi ngayon po ay 